Hey, this is Frank. Welcome to my channel. We're looking at a Toyota 3.0 liter engine, V6. Engine code is 1MZFE. We're going to do a complete teardown of this engine. First step is to get it up onto an engine stand. The engine has been sitting on a dolly for a while. I've got an engine stand and a hoist. And uh, let's go ahead and show you how to get the engine up onto a stand. To get this engine up, I'm going to use the studs for the exhaust manifold. I've taken this chain, heavy gauge chain, I put a washer over the stud and then just a nut. Same thing from the opposite side. We use one of the studs with a washer and a nut over the chain link. Now we have hooked the uh, chain through the lifting hook for the hoist and we're going to go and uh, jack it up into the air. Now the engine is up in the air. To make things easy, I'm going to remove the flex plate now before we put the engine on the stand. So I have to unfasten these bolts. I'm going to do that with impact trash. Bolts are all off. Next step is to pry or tap the flex plate off. There you go. Now also to make things easier, because these bolts are going to be difficult to access once the engine is on the stand, I'm going to remove them all now. These are 10 millimeter bolts, M6 with a 10 millimeter head. Okay, this piece goes under the flex plate, and this is the rear main seal right here is your rear main seal. While I'm at it, I'm also going to remove this plug right here. 10 millimeter hex. There it is. Trick they don't really teach anywhere. I'm going to disassemble this engine stand. So. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to bolt it on to the rear of the engine. Now I've mounted the stand bracket onto the engine and the bolts I've used are from the hardware store. They're M12 by 1.25 thread and I use washers to get them to the right length. The next step is to get this bracket onto the stand. So I'm going to take this engine stand and uh, I'm going to see if I can slip it on to the bracket. I need to lift this a little bit higher. There we go, now I can just drop it. As a final comment, you do not put the engine on the stand. You put the stand on the engine. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next of this series where we do the complete teardown of this engine.